Hi everybody, this is Keeney and with me here is one of the foxes at the Scottish Deer Centre waiting to get fed He's a beauty, isn't it? Hmm? He's just waiting for the keeper to come along The best chance to go really is when before they're about to be getting fed because once they're fed they disappear and they don't come back so we've come today before they get fed and um, well this is the closest I've been, I've been to a fox in a long time Everyone, she's a lovely fox. She's a risky fox, and um, she ha she's having beef today, the same as the real. Um, she'll come in again. I was just going to say that sometimes uh, she won't actually stay around to eat her meat. She does come and go. The fox is a bit more possessive about the food. I'll show you her on the platform and we'll show you the agility of the fox. Now, Jim's uh, been a rescue fox, has got a bit of a story to her. Uh, my family was attacked uh, when a tire pot went down her den and she got away with just the tip of her tail taken off. You'll find in the way of 10% of foxes don't have the tips of the tail. So um, she was, she came to us by, um, by way of a gamekeeper. Um, and she'd actually had her on dog meat and dog biscuits, so we slowly weaned her onto the fresh meat, but she still does get the dog biscuits as a treat. I've got an egg today as a bit of enrichment, so I'll go and put an egg on the platform. If they can't find meat in the wild, they will diversify the lake. So that my shoes and bowls in the Scottish countryside. But if they can't actually find that, they'll take and they can actually eat that. So it seems that they can find food absolutely everywhere in, in our towns and cities. But if you look at the life expectancy of a fox, we'll be left up here. Two years. Two to three years, exactly. Um, so you can see the big discrepancy. There's just such hazards to, to life in towns for foxes. The big three are the roads and the cars. That's a, a really high mortality factor for foxes. Um, also the pets, you know, like the terrier pup that attacks in there in the garden. When the foxes go in for food, they'll, they'll meet your, your terrier pups and, and the like, and they will attack the fox as well. Um, and then there's a tiny mite called mange that irritates the skin of a fox um, and basically they itch it away but they take the fur away it's so itchy and they can open wounds and when the open wounds um, get infected 
um, they can die from this tiny mite called mange as well. <laughs> so it's just to let you know a little bit more. But I hope you've had a, a really fun close encounter with Jin. She's ever so friendly. She's got a really nice size of enclosure. It's a mixed woodland. If you look in the middle at the